Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome to the second part of the video where, if you're new to them, I'm introducing you to the Coco 1 and 2. In part one, I gave you a little tour around the inside and the outside of the Coco 1 and 2. I also showed you how to hook either of those machines up to an old CRT TV. If you haven't seen part one yet, you should probably go watch it. I'll put a link in the description because after all that is part one of this two part uh, video. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to hook either of those machines up to a more modern TV. And I'm also gonna show you a few of my favorite different ways to get programs onto the computer. Also, you know, you can save programs from the computer onto these things, uh, especially games because I do like games. So without further ado, let's jump right in to where we left off in the last video. Now we're going to look at how to hook your Coco 1 or 2 up to a more modern TV. The first thing we're going to do is the same way that we hooked up to the CRT. So if the TV has the coaxial input you plug the uh, coaxial cable into that just the same as with the CRT. And then you have the TV here. By the way, pay no attention to the fact that it's got a broken screen on it. This is just one that I use for uh, messing around with stuff. Things I can hook up that I don't have to worry about hurting the TV. Now once it's hooked up, you just have to tune it to channel 3. And turn it on. Now, I actually find that hooking it up this way doesn't give nearly as nice of a picture generally, and it doesn't actually work on all modern TVs. A lot of the time, it won't tune into the signal from the uh, color computer, so, you know, that can be a problem. But there is another solution for hooking up to the modern TVs. Let's take a look at that. And the third one that I have here is, well, this is an old fashioned cable box. You could also do this with a VCR. And what you would do is you would use one of these solutions to plug into the back of the cable box or the VCR. And then you would use the um, composite out on this and run it into a more modern TV. So, Let's take a look at that in action. And here we have the back of our cable box. And as you can see, there is the cable input there, which is where you plug in the coaxial cable from your color computer. Then you have two outputs here, audio and video. That is where you plug in the cables going to the back of your TV. And I have now swapped in my color computer one to show that it works just fine with this as well. So first thing you have to do is turn on your cable box or VCR or whatever. Have the TV and the cable box tuned right. And turn on your TV or your computer and there you go. You are ready to type things on the computer. Now I do find that uh, hooking these up onto a modern TV this way, you definitely have to play with the uh, settings on it, the brightness and contrast and whatnot to uh, get it to look half decent. So that is my solution for plugging my Coco 1 or my Coco 2 into TV sets. And as a side note, I use the cable box as a solution. I run the uh, composite out into a capture card. Then I can capture video off my Coco 1 or 2 doing that. I did do a video about that a while back. But I guess you're probably thinking, well, the most important part of these old computers, at least for me, is games. What are the solutions for getting games onto this computer? Well, let's take a look at that. 
So I have here three solutions for getting games onto your computer. Well, okay, they actually all three work as a solution for saving or loading any programs onto your computer. But hey, I like games, so it's all about games for me. First one I'm going to look at is the tape drive, which was the very first way that I had for loading and saving things on my color computer as a kid. So I'm using my color computer one again running through the cable box. I've moved the cable box over to the side to make room for my cassette deck. The cassette deck uses this Tandy cable. Three inputs into the cassette deck and this goes into the back of your color computer into the port marked cassette. Turn your computer on. Now I have Zaxxon in there right now, which is a machine language program. So you have to type C load M and you're off to the races as long as the levels are correct for the volume. And they're not. This is the fun of using a cassette deck. And now the volume is correct, so no, it's not. Looks like it's working. And it's not. Now it looks like it might be working. Maybe it's working, maybe, maybe. That's not. Problem with cassettes are they're very, very touchy. Just have to be perfect to get things to load. Oh, for f and hallelujah, after many, many, many tries, it's finally loaded in. So you EXEC to execute it. And there we go, Zaxxon. But I would definitely recommend that the if you have any other way of doing things, tape is not the way to go because it can be really frustrating. Now we're going to look at something that I always wanted as a kid, but didn't get until Coco Fest last year, which is a disk drive. With the disk drive, it simply has this little disk drive pack on the end that plugs right into the cartridge port. I have the disk drive adapter plugged into the cartridge port computer is running through the cable box into the computer. Let's turn it on. Now it should be ready to give me a directory of this disk. I would try out some of my games disks on here, but unfortunately they're all for the color computer three. So I did make a little game at the bottom there, not a game, a little program at the bottom there called retro. So let's load that up and list that there we go little program and there we go so that is the disk drive in action you'll notice that when I typed in the program to load it I didn't use a closing quote mark well, you actually don't have to do that on the color computer. Um, if you, as long as you use an opening one, then uh, that's good enough. And finally, we are going to look at the modern solution, which is the Coco SDC. I have done some videos on this. Uh, it's a great solution that loads and saves programs onto an SD card. 
and here is the Coco SDC with its SD card plugs right into the cartridge port and the computer is ready to go of the uh, three things I'm showing you here definitely the Coco SDC is the easiest and uh, yeah so you're into a menu here that uh, I've got loaded onto the um, SD card here. And you can load up games. Simply that easy. The Coco SDC is something that I think you should buy immediately when you get a Coco 1 or 2. It's just the best piece of equipment out there for modern stuff to go with your Coco. It uh, works as a disk drive that you can load and save things to. You can also use it as a hard drive. It uh, is an amazing little piece of equipment. Now at the time of filming, uh, I could see that the only ones place that I could find where they're in stock is from Retro Rewind. The other place that you can buy them is the Zipster Zone. I'll uh, put both those places a link down in the description, but uh, as I said, at the time of filming, Retro Rewind is the only one that had any in stock. So, And the three things that I've shown you here today are not the only things that you can use to uh, save and load programs on your color computer. There's also things like DriveWire and whatnot, but I personally don't use those. So these three are just the ones that I currently have and the ones that I'm currently using. So that's why I showed them to you. Well, there you go. You now have the basics of the Color Computer 1 and 2. You've got it hooked up. You can play with it. One thing about the uh, Tandy computers is that they have amazing manuals, both for programming and for the technical side of it. So I suggest tinkering. Take a look at those manuals and just tinker with the computer. Uh, yeah, if you want to find the manuals, a good place to look is the Color Computer Archive. For that and all other things Color Computer related, I will put a link down in the description for that. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, you're really going to enjoy this Color Computer that you've gotten because so far Color Computers have given me a lifetime of entertainment and fun. And I'm hoping they'll do the same for you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with that like, that subscribe, and that comment below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.